Okay, hi y'all. It is now 11 o'clock and I am ready for the day. And I, it has just been a lazy morning. I was kind of tired and so I kind of rested. I kind of had a stomach ache, a little bit of a headache. And so I've just been resting and all the things today. But yeah, I'm excited. I am up and ready though because I am getting a new dining table delivered today. I'm so excited. It has been a long time coming. We just have to have patience <laughs> a lot sometimes. Um, I know it seems like sometimes you watch YouTube or watch Instagram and it seems like everyone is getting everything they need at times, but I have learned not every, you know, some people are able to do that, but a lot of times they have worked hard for it or they've saved a lot for it and things like that, but I'm so excited. We have made this table work for a very long time. I don't know what I want to do with this. I've like so many ideas. Like part of me wants to like do like some kind of a, uh, put it outside, maybe for outside eating, but then it's kind of nice still. It's wood and I have painted some of it. My kids use it for artwork. Another part wants me. Okay, sorry about that. My husband was calling me. He was going to come back, head this way. He went to another town, a little uh, town, a little bigger town, 20 minutes away. But anyway, he's heading home now. He wanted to know if I needed anything, and I actually need to run myself <laughs> to the town to grab some, a few things. And so instead of telling him all the things that I need, <laughs> he'd be like, what? <laughs> I was just going to go grab it myself, <laughs> So or tomorrow. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm so excited. But yeah, I just wanted to say this for some reason. Sometimes I get that feeling like I wish my house was done, even though my house is nice and it's, it's, it's livable for sure. But sometimes I just don't have all the things like I want to decorate the way I want to. And it's really made me um, like kind of change things like what I already have like I want to show you that really quick as well but um because you can take something simple and do something just so different with it and it makes it look really really different but anyway all that to say I know it seems like in the Instagram world or maybe not so much Facebook but Instagram and sometimes YouTube too it seems like everybody's getting everything they need right now like fixing everything or doing everything or have the money to do this and that and the truth is, is that isn't the truth and so I have learned to be more content the Bible talks about contentment it talks a lot about contentment and so the reason why I know anytime the Bible talks a lot about something or says it more than once I know that means that you know that it was put there more than once knowing that we struggle with it you know it's a struggle and that's why it's there more than once you know it like it says be not afraid so many many times or it says you know it talks about i can think of different contentments like be content with such things as you have i learned in whatsoever state i am therewith to be content and i know paul was saying that in way different circumstances but i know that those verses can be applied to our life today because we do live in this society that wants everything or or feels like everyone's getting it now so therefore we want it now because i am so guilty of that but i have to remind myself that i need to be content and all the things <laughs> so because i can struggle and that's how come that i have learned that the things i struggle with i'm not alone in i'm not the only one and i know at times when we're struggling with something we feel like we are the only one struggling with it. Nobody else is feeling this way. Nobody else is feeling like they wish their house was better, you know, or they wish they had all of their ducks in a row. They wish they had a little bit more money. They wish this or they wish that. But I have learned when I feel that way, other people feel that way too. And so I've just had to learn to realize, you know, it's okay to share and things like that. Or just to learn that it's okay to feel this way and to know, realize that other people are feeling this way, but it's not good to like stay there. The Bible does talk about contentment, like moving on from the discontentment to the contentment, and it brings a lot of joy. And so, and also, when you do get the something that you've had to wait for for so long, so I'm going to tell you something about this table. You're fixing to see we we found it for free. I'm not kidding. I had I can't even remember. I had like a table before then, but anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a long story. But so I had a sort a round table that I absolutely loved because it was kind of my dream. I don't know why I saw it in a magazine 
like years ago, like probably when I was a teenager and I wanted a round table so bad and my grandma gave me a round table. But the problem was, was that the leaves on it were not, would fall down. And I'm not kidding. I had people over, it was a nightmare. And that leaf fell down on, on someone, two different, well, not the same person, but it, the leaf fell down two different times. And my husband said, well, he could just glue it, but it wasn't probably going to be like in a permanent fix. It was going to be another one of those really quick fixes that, and then I also thought, um, just moving it and everything. And sometimes I like to put the leaves down for different reasons. If we were in a little bit of a smaller area, then I could put one of the leaves down. It was just, it seemed impractical, but maybe I should have just glued it. I don't know. But anyway, I got rid of it. I gave it to someone else. That where they could fix it, they could glue it, and I did let them know that the leaves did indeed fall. There was complete proof of that. But then when we were moving, we were getting rid of the round table. We were we were fixing to move. We were in the military, moving from one place to another, and I found this table. I don't even know why these people put their wood table. They probably got another one. Part of me wants to put this one out in case someone else needs it, but I feel like I still might need this. I don't know. Um, part of me is like thinking so many different things. Like maybe I should set up a little bit because I have a huge room. Maybe I should set up a little bit of a school area in my room. I don't know. It's just, I feel like I could do so much right now with this and I want to do something fun with it. I just don't know what yet. But anyway, I, we found this table. So I had just set it out and I was just like, is that free? I went and knocked on the door. And I asked him, I wanted to make double dog sure that it was free, that they really were getting rid of this. This was not just a wood table set up for someone else that had paid money for it. That it really was indeed free. And so they said, oh yeah, yeah, it's yours. You can have it. Like if you can carry it down there, they let me know that they couldn't carry it down there to my house, which was about four doors down. And I was like, that's fine. My brother was visiting him at the time. And so I was like, hey, help me carry a table down. And so it was kind of, it slid down in the mud. It, it rained a lot there. And so we picked it up out of the mud, carried it down here. It was wood. It was kind of, um, maybe not in the perfect condition, but to me it was like, I have a table and it works. So I loved and appreciated this table. I have appreciated this table for years now, for years. I don't remember how long I've had this table, but I've loved it. That's why part of me just doesn't really want to part with it right now because I feel like that this was something the Lord just like dropped. It was like it just fell from the sky. Like how did nobody drive by and not want that? Like it was like, I'm not kidding, on army posts or military bases and things like that. Like when something is out on the road, it's like everyone, like it's gone. Like, I'm not kidding. It's gone in a second. Like, I'm not kidding. I could put things out by the trash can. You know, I could put all kinds of things. I knew that it would go to good homes and things like that. Things I just didn't really want to take to the thrift store. I didn't want to worry about selling and things like that. I would just be like, we just need to get this out of our house. I want to bless someone else with it. I would set it by the road and someone was just going to take it. I've never seen anything like it, but it was so cool. And I remember this one time, I just decided one time, I didn't have a VCR. I did like the old VCR tapes. So I kept on to them like the Disney ones. My mom still has a ton of them as well. But it was something that I collected at thrift stores. I just thought they were pretty on the shelves. I thought they were so cute. But then I just decided one day, you know what? I don't need them. I just don't need these. And so I, I think I even had an old VCR that I I don't even know. I don't think the VCR worked. So that I think I had to trash. That's why we couldn't. That's why I did wasn't keeping the VCR tapes. So I boxed up the VCR tapes and I set them by the road. And a little while later, a couple of kids, kids a couple of boys came to my door. They were probably like a 10 age range. They came to my door and they asked, are you just giving those away? Are you selling them? What are you doing with those? I was like, yeah, I'm getting rid of them. You can have them. And they were like, really? We have a VCR. We would love to watch these. And I was like, yes, take them, take them. Have fun. Enjoy. Um, that is just the, that's the, I think that's the funnest thing is when 
you know, like little things like that. Like to you, it's little, but to someone else, it's so much bigger. And I love that because it's like, that's, you know, that's their little blessing. And you're being able to be part of that. Anyway, those people blessed me with this table. They had no idea. It was just like, I wanted to just like start crying tears on their doorstep when they said, it's yours, you can have it. Like she probably had gotten a brand new table and just was done with this one or whatever. And I was just, it was my blessing. And when we moved to another place, I painted it the gray color that you will see at the top. But then recently I was trying to get out of this, I have to have something new right now mindset again. And so I painted it black to match things that I'm painting black around here. And so I, I loved it again, I was very content, but then the chairs, there's always been an issue with some of these chairs, like, I, I don't know, but I still want to fix them because I really like them. I still like my whole table set, I just, I don't know, I can't have my kids falling through these seats every few, every few meals here, <laughs> so I'm going to turn you around and show you what we have right now. Okay, so I've kind of moved all of the chairs out of the way, and I, I love this here. I've actually recently put this here, and I absolutely love that little um, cabinet here. That was one of the things we bought when we first moved into this house. We bought that, and I, I love it because it has games in it and all the things, which I may have to move it back over here. I'm telling you, I've got so much random stuff around here just laying around. And I like this because it kind of holds our school stuff because then it doesn't have to be over here. But that's not happening right now, apparently. So I'm kind of thinking with the new table, it's going to have a bench and it's like our forever table. I'm hoping that I will have it for the rest of my life. And so it's going to have like a bench. It's going to have four chairs. It's going to be a table. I think it's going to be a little bit bigger than this. I think. Part of me hopes it's not, but I think it is. So I'm probably gonna have to move this out of here or move this somewhere over here, which I'm just like, I don't see how it would work or look good over here because it's just got, we got this opening right here. We've got a lot of like school stuff, which I could move all that, stuff, but honestly, this is our, like our school wall. I don't really wanna move all the school wall stuff because we do have a lot of school in here. I don't know. But if I end up doing school in my room, that would be kind of, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen though. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this table, but I do love it. My kids, this is part of what I'm going to miss about this table and why we kind of like to make a space for it somewhere else. My kids do crafts. Look, they do crafts and I'm okay with it because this is a table that I got for free, but also it was an older table and it was just something that I loved allowing my kids to do was tons and tons of crafts. So I have, this was the original color that I painted. It was just this gray chalk paint. And then recently I painted it the black chalk paint. So, but I'm super excited. These are the chairs. If y'all y'all been here since nearly the beginning of my YouTube channel, I talked about these chairs. I love them and I redid them and I recently spray painted them black to match the table so it looked like kind of more of a complete set. But I'm not kidding. <coughs> These chairs have been like my nemesis. I got all four chairs for free. Someone else had set these out at another place we lived and they were kind of like, kind of had this rattan seat to it, like the old style rattan. Like, and it was really neat, but they had cats. And so the cats had like pulled so much of it underneath. And I don't know if it, you call it rattan or what you call it. I keep thinking that maybe, because literally, look, it comes up. And they are made, my husband cut out the wood and everything, and it's made to fit, but it keeps popping up. So I think I would really like to like, I don't know if I should like screw it in. I don't know. He says that's not going to work. It's going to like ruin the wood of the chair, but... I don't know. I just like, I love, I still like these chairs. And I'm like, I don't want to get rid of them yet. I don't know if that's awful of me or what, but I'm just like, I don't want to get rid of them. I actually really love them. And these I found from a thrift store. This, I have another one too. My kids always pull it away and I'm not kidding. It's falling apart too, but I like it. And it's like for the first time in my life, I actually have chairs. Like a, I'm going to have like a lot of chairs. Now I'm going to have the four that are coming, plus these two, that's six, and then I'm gonna have four more, that's like 10 chairs. 
I somehow want to make this work because I like never. There's Maverick. There's Maverick. Hi. Hi, baby. He needs a haircut. He's getting so furry. That's the thing about these golden noodle dogs. If y'all ever get one, they are the sweetest things. I mean, literally, you can just do anything. They are so sweet. Aren't they so sweet? Are you so sweet? He's so sweet. Like, he doesn't care. He'll sleep. He does bark, and he kind of gets a little scared. You get a little scared. You get a little scared. But they are the furriest, softest, but I'm not kidding. This hair, if it was to get much longer than this, it mats. And he's been out and it, it's rained at our house. So look at his paw, it's so dirty. That's why I love having this color of a dog. But like, look, this is why I need to like trim him because they get like mats in their hair when it gets very long. Oh yeah, here's a mat right here under his ear. Like he, they, I don't know if you can like see it, but it gets like matted. Like all of his hair will get that way if I don't cut it pretty soon. Yes, it will. He'll get so matted. But anyway, um, yeah, but one thing about these dogs that I have always, that I love and have loved about him since we've had him for over a year is they do not shed. Like there's never any of this fur <laughs> around. <laughs> but you do have to cut them. And it's kind of a pain and it does take, it takes a good bit of time, but he's at this stage now where he'll lay there and let me cut on him. He doesn't like it. He clearly does not like it, but he's very good to let me trim on him. And like, that's gonna have to happen. It's just going to have to happen very soon. But, and also, yeah, he just needs a good cut. <laughs> And I could take him to the groomers. It would be nice, it would be easier, but it adds up really, really quick after a while. I mean, they charge like, I don't know, a good bit of money, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. Well, I was not meaning for this video to take this kind of direction. I was kind of just gonna be like a, come along with me for a day in the life. I have no idea what else I'm gonna do today. I know I need to wash these dishes. That's just where my life. Run right to the store, grab a few groceries. I don't know. What if he doesn't even want to do that? But I think I will. I should just open up and do it. <laughs> I need to do that. I really need to. Yeah. So, you get these dishes washed and put away. Or the clean ones put away. We don't have a dishwasher. We have a dishwasher. But I think I've told you the saga of that. I've never lived in the house where... I had a dishwasher and it actually worked. And this is the same for this one. It doesn't work. And that's fine. I just, I've just never been a huge dishwasher person since I've never had one. Since I've been married for 14 years, I've had dishwashers, but they didn't work. So I would load the dishes in and they wouldn't get clean. Or I would, you know, you have to basically clean out the stuff, put them in. I don't know. It's such a saga. So, and then you have to undo it the next day. So, I don't know. I don't know. So, I just need to undo this, put this away. It's kind of like a old dishwasher. It's my dish drainer. And so, I just need to put these away, wash all the dirty ones because I didn't wash dishes last night. I didn't. Dinner dishes. And they're still in the sink. So, that's what I've got to do right now. 